exciting book review for you in a history book about Romans, a myth. The book is called Off With Their Heads. You can buy it from the nearest bookshop. I'm going to talk about the history of Romans. So Romans were very powerful. They had a lot of power because they took over a lot of countries and they ruled the countries. Inclu and it was and they got London, Scotland and Wales and a lot more. They are, were very powerful and had very good armour and very big shields with and they looked very scary they spiked their hair like this to make their hair look spiky to make them very fierce and they like put some blue around their head to make them look even more scary and they had big daggers to fight. A dagger is like um, a stick but with a really sharp spike at the end. It's like a sword but just smaller. And they were really powerful. They were almost beaten once but they didn't but they still weren't beaten. It was Boudicca. She almost beated the Romans but the Romans were too powerful even though Boudicca outnumbered the Romans with her army the, the, she, the Romans were too powerful she still couldn't defeat them can you believe it thousands and thousands of more um, um, more of people than the Romans, thousands of more. But the Romans, they're just too trained, too skilled. They have too much good armor and they came with a very, very good plan. Their plan was to put their shields, cover every direction except the top. So so the only way for um, Boudicca's team to kill the, to hit the Romans was from hitting above it but it was really hard to hit above the shields because they're all because they're like human sized so it was really hard to hit above the shields they weren't circle like the shields you see in video and stuff it's real it's really like a big square like this human size like your dad your dad size of something that big can you believe it? That big, that much armies cannot defeat that Romans. The Celts also tried, but the Celts also failed. The Celts failed. The Romans came to the Celts, but the, Ro the Romans were used to fighting on land, but they were forced to fight in the water bec because but they struggle in water but this because the cells were charging in the water so they had no time to come and land and fight but even though the cells the cells also outnumbered the romans and the cells and the romans also had to fight in water that they weren't actually used to and only the cells could fight on land but the Romans were forced to fight in water since the, they were coming too close to the water. Now I'm going to tell about Boudicca. Boudicca's husband was the emperor, emperor of Italy? Italy. But the Romans... And the Romans said to him that... It's okay, he could be empty, well, they wouldn't take evil until he 
he died. Bo the, the Romans whipped Boudicca and treated their land bad, badly and ruled it. Boudicca got a lot of people to fight. They were all, they were outnumbering the Romans. And then the Romans were in Wales, taking, they were taking over Wales. But when they heard that um, Boudicca was taking over Londium, which is now known as London, when she, they were burning London and taking it over, that in those days was called Londium, the Romans quickly came back and fight, fought them. Boudicca beat them and then they went on to the next wave. On the next wave, the, the Romans came with a plan that with the shields, protect, putting them all so, so they, they, the only way to shoot was from inside. But it was really hard. The Romans had bow and arrows. So when so in one hand the shield was there, they put it like this, the shield, the bow and arrow was there and then they just and they just shoot. I just throw arrows right out and they just hit and then Boudicca lost. But what happened to Boudicca? That's unknown. What does she actually know? It's unknown. But people still make statues of what they think Boudicca looked like. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button and hit a like. Watch part two of this episode. That's going to be the last part of this episode. This is part one. The next one's going to be part two. The story of Rome, R Remus and Romulus. Romulus. <laughs>